Hello everybody, welcome to group time today. Today's group time is maths and we are looking at money this morning. So just before we do our activity, I would like you to talk to your grown up about what you already know about money. Have a look and see if there's any money in your house and have a talk with your grown up about what the value of the coins are that you might have in your house. So just pause that now and have a little talk about what you already know about money. Welcome back, some really good talking then. It's great to see that some of you have actually got some coins in your homes for you to use for your maths work today. So today we are focusing on this coin here. This is a one penny coin and it means it's one P. It represents the number one. So if you go to a penny shop, you could often buy some sweeties from penny shops and you might buy one sweetie and pay with a one pence piece. Okay, so the number, this, this, ten, this penny here is a circle and it's got the number one on it and then across the top it says one penny. So just again for me, pause this video and see if you can find a one penny piece in your house. Okay, off you go. Fantastic, well done to, to those children who found a one penny piece. Now it's not often that we actually have one penny pieces, is it? So you might have had to look really hard to find one in your house. So this is one penny and it equals one. So when we're using this penny to do some counting, it's really easy for us because we're just counting in ones. So we have gone to a Chinese New Year shop and we are going to buy some decorations for our Chinese New Year celebration. So I would like to buy this dragon. And this dragon has got a price tag on it. It tells me how much money I will need to buy the dragon. So this dragon costs 3p. It costs 3 pennies. So how many coins do I need to pay 3p? That's right, I do. I need three pennies to make three P. So can you count with me? One, two, three. Is that three P? Yes, it is. So I'm going to write the number three. And then I'm going to do a, a letter. And this letter is a P. And it stands for pence. So I know that that is three pence. I've had to use three one pence pieces. Okay. Now then, I'd also like to buy some of these fortune cookies. These fortune cookies cost one P each. But I don't want one fortune cookie. I want two fortune cookies. So how many coins do I need if I want two fortune cookies? They are 1p each. So I have to do a little working out here. I, ha I have to add 1 and 1 together. So on your hands, can you lift up one finger? Show me one finger. And then on your other hand, show me one finger on that one. Now look at your fingers. You've got one finger on one hand, one finger on the other hand. How many fingers all together? That's right, we've got two. And you can see here on the price tag, it says 2p. So if the cost of these cookies is 2p, how many coins do I need to use? Two, fantastic. One, two. And I'm going to have a practice at writing it again. So I'm going to put two and then p for pence. Two pence. Well done. Thank you for your help with that one. Okay, now this one you should be able to do. This lantern, this beautiful red lantern, costs four pence. Can you see the number four there? So how many coins do I need to make four pence? I do need four. Well done. Let's count them out. One two, three, 
Four, well done. And how do I write four pence? I write the number four. And then what letter do I need? P, P, P for pence. Fantastic, well done. Now we've got a bit of problem solving here. So this beautiful dragon kite costs six pence. Now, I think I've got the right amount of coins here. I think I've got six pence here. Am I right? Pause this video and talk to your grown-up about whether I have got six pence to pay for the kite. Welcome back. Well done. So, some of you noticed that these pennies I've put here, I've got one, two, three... Does three pennies equal six pennies? No, it doesn't, does it? So I've got three, but I'm a few short, aren't I? I need, I need to make six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I pay for the kite now? Yes, I can because I have got Six pennies, fantastic. Okay, now, the cookies that we bought earlier, they cost two pence, didn't they? And the lantern cost four pence. Do these two things cost the same? Did we have to pay the same amount of pennies? No, we didn't, did we? Can you pause the video and explain to your grown-up why we didn't pay the same? What's different? What is different about these amounts of money? Fantastic, well done. So the fortune cookies only cost two pence and the lantern cost four pence. So we can say that the lantern cost more than the fortune cookies. We needed to pay more pennies. Well done. So now it is your turn to do some exploring with money. I have attached this activity onto the website. So what you need to do is count the coins in each of these wallets and write the number. So we'll do this first one together. In this lucky envelope, there are how many coins? One, two. So I'm going to write the number two. And then you are going to have a turn at doing the rest at home. You can print it out or you could ask your grown-up to draw you something similar on a piece of paper. When you've done that activity, if you wanted something a little bit more challenging, you can have a go at activity two. So this is where you have to look at the number, see what number it is, and then draw the right amount of pennies. So let's do this one together. What number is this? Number one. Well done. So how many pennies do I need? That's right, just one. And for a penny, you can just draw a circle and you can put a number one in it. Okay, that's how you can draw a penny. So have a go at that and I look forward to seeing some photographs of you exploring money. See you soon.